Bobby Lashley tonight, I will prove to you and to everyone that you may be the almighty, but you can be defeated. You've gotten through CM Punk, but I am the WWE undisputed champion. One way or another tonight, I will make a statement that'll leave you at a crossroads. Cody Rhodes, the so-called undisputed champion. Okay, yes you are the champion, but with myself involved in the triple threat at Survivor Series, soon we won't have to worry about Dusty's kid parading around as champion anymore. I'm not worried about Punk. I've beaten him fair and square, proving that his so-called victory over me was a fluke. Tonight, Cody, I will cut you in half, and then I'll clean up the pieces come Survivor Series. Strong words by Bobby Lashley and Cody Rhodes ahead of their main event match here tonight live on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, the final boss and the women's general manager of SmackDown, Beth Phoenix and The Rock, are here to announce our team for War Games. That's right, at Survivor Series. Two brands will collide to prove which brand is superior, which is why I've already decided my picks for my team. First, it will be the WWE Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Then my second choice will be the television champion, Jade Cargill. The only way to prove that she's a diamond is putting her under the pressure. And finally, my last choice. She really impressed me in her debut last week. And since she's familiar with the WWE Women's Champion, I'm gonna grant her this opportunity to show the world why SmackDown is the premier show. Welcome to the team, Lyra Valkyria. A fantastic team. That'll bring SmackDown the win and whoop Raw's candy asses. Now, on to the men. Since The Rock will be participating in this matchup, The Rock wants the best of the best. Meaning, he doesn't give a damn about rivalries, drama, gossip. It doesn't matter what problem it is. You want proof? The first pick of SmackDown's team for the Men's War Games match is Randy Orton. And joining Randy will be Finn Balor. Like The Rock said, it doesn't matter to him about past problems. You will coexist in this match. And the final pick for our team is, of course, the reigning Intercontinental Champion, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. To Raw, all SmackDown can say is, just bring it. It is official! Brand Warfare, Eight Woman War Games! Raw versus SmackDown. The teams have been made official between both men and women in the War Games matchup. Survivor Series, they're going to be a head-on collision in brand warfare this year. But tonight here on SmackDown, we kick the night off with the WWE Tag Team Titles up for grabs as here comes Pretty Deadly. Elton Prince and Kip Wilson getting ready to take on DIYs, their first challengers for the WWE Tag Team Championships. During a match they had at a live event, Pretty Deadly was able to come out on top. Which leads us to tonight. As here, as here live on SmackDown, heading towards Survivor Series in Vancouver, BC. A jam-packed evening, to say the least. We will hear from the WWE Women's Television Champion and Jade Cargill later on tonight regarding her championship defense last week on SmackDown. Also, Alexa Bliss taking on Candice LeRae. And then we're going to have an announcement regarding the number one contendership uh, for the tag team titles for the men's later on tonight. A lot going down, a lot going down here tonight, here on SmackDown. But we kick the night off with championship gold 
being on the line. An interesting duo is Kit Wilson and Elton Prince, to say the least. But no doubt both men can pack a punch. And they're willing to do that here tonight to capture them some tag team gold. As here comes DIY, Judy Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Two superstars that have accomplished a lot on their own, then went on to accomplish together. Not only becoming NXT Tag Team Champions back in 2K18, but here tonight, they're able to walk around as the brand new WWE Tag Team Champions when they won the titles. Last premium live event from SmackDown, Night of Champions. And now you got Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Looking to be not only fighting champions, but looking to show their worth, if you will. Show why they wanted those gold, that tag team titles, those championships around their waist for so long. And they get to defend it here tonight against Pretty Deadly. As we take you to Alicia Taylor for the ring announcement. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 357 pounds, Kit Wilson and Elton Prince. Pretty deadly. And their opponents at a combined weight of four. WWE Tag Team Champions Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano D.I.Y. Living their moment as Tag Team Champions. Not only, not, not just Tag Team Champions, but WWE Tag Team Champions. A lot of tag teams have held that gold in the past. Whether you identify it as the SmackDown tag team titles, either way. Whatever tag team gold that is presented here on SmackDown, no doubt, a lot of history, a lot of lineage behind the, the tag team titles. As we begin the matchup here, Tommaso Ciampa able to send, I believe, Kit Wilson into the corner. As... Oh! Damage right to the left knee. As Kit not in a good spot here. As Tommaso Ciampa just driving in the boot. Again, look at the established dominance in the early going. Remember, Tommaso Ciampa is the black card after all. He is the psychopath. Despite being teamed up with Johnny Gargano, claiming to be a different man because of his, his daughter and all, but nah, sometimes, sometimes. Your pass creeps in every time. As Ciampa got the tag, it's Gargano. Planning them gut first. And Gargano allowing Ciampa, after you place Kit Wilson there, allowing Ciampa with the punt kick. Is it enough in the kick at one? The former Intercontinental Champion going to work here on his challenger. I right, try to go for an Irish whip, turn it around, and oh! Caught him with an elbow. And now they're going to make a tag. And now here comes Elton Prince, I believe. Oh! Drop kick right to the face. And then, ooh, like drop right onto Ciampa. And now tag back to Kit. But Ciampa up to his feet. Neckbreaker. Had him scouted for the neck break and now Ciampa looking to take advantage. Irish whip but sent him into, into the corner. They're gonna isolate Kit Wilson. And 
And now Ciampa, look at this. Dragon Sleeper from the top. Cutting off the airflow, but oh. Elton Prince is able to make the save. Ciampa trying to cut off the airflow of Kit Wilson. Therefore, trying to maybe, uh, maybe get the pinfall there. But oh. Are they saying not the face? Not the face or not the waist? I, I couldn't identify the crowd, Teddy. But nonetheless, oh, they're booing, that's for sure. With Tim Wilson's in control, that inverted neckbreaker, and now a tag made. And now Elton Prince getting involved, trying to go after Ciampa. And Ciampa, what a discus, discus lariat, good grief. And it comes back with a clothesline of his own. Tell the challengers are hungry. They want the tag team titles. They want that success. They want to be in the limelight. They want to be on the top of the mountain of the tag team division. Elton now got him up top. Boot to the arm by Chaka. Kick to the midsection. And again, it. Oh! Plant some face first. So, what's he going to do with the now? As he. Makes the tag to Gargano. The rubber heart himself. With that Larry and Padon kit, or Elton Prince rather, able to catch him with a pity predicament, but Gargano with a kick at one, and oh, the head scissors take that. So much going on in here. They're going, oh, and Chompa! Felt the knee, the a little, little spice there. As, oh, power bomb on the floor, but Gargano able to withstand it. Gargano will withstand the power bomb, but Elton had him in his hands momentarily. Kicked right into the abdomen, just back and forth, and able to send him back in the ring. And now going after Champos. Wow, did he get payback from the floor from earlier? And now, oh, now he's just mocking. Oh wait, oh, Kit Wilson taking down uh, Gargano with the Michinoku driver. Things are breaking down in this tag team title match as Gargano able to take care of Kit there. And now Elton able to send him into the corner. Knife and chop. Caught him on the knee. The knee lifts right to the abdomen. Shades of Diesel there. And now look at this. Just choking the life of the Gargano as well. Desperately want the tag team belt. They're gonna take the arrow. They're gonna take the life out of Gargano for that tag team title. Double drop goes for the cover, but Ciampa not having it. Tag, and now get Wilson in the front. I don't know what's going through the mind of the, of the challengers. Oh wait, Gargano escapes with that chop block and now got him in position. Attacking that same knee, he just hit the chop block with that tag made the chopper. And oh, Kent wants to cut him with a kick. Goes for the cover off the kick. Is it enough? A surprise. Oh, shoulder part one. Got to do a lot more than did that to knock off DIY. The newly crowned WWE Tag Team Champions from Night of Champions in Miami, Florida. The Hard Rock Stadium. The DIY defeated the Street Profits. Who, uh, we're going to speak on that a little bit later tonight. Power Bomb. And then it's Dolan Neve Confirmation by Ciampa. And then Tags and Gargano are going to try to. Finished the job, perhaps. Sends him into the corner. The Gargano flatliner. A flatliner into the corner, but Gargano now got Elton Prince in mind, but Elton now. Got him with an elbow to Gargano. Schoolboy, head kick. Kick out of the dodge. Big boot! 
big boot is it enough to claim the gold chop that says otherwise? This is again just grabbing the throat of Gargano in the corner. No absence of malice by Elton Prince, and now sends him to the corner. Tag. And now, what's this? Fireman's carry, and oh, gut buster. Assisted gut buster there by Pretty Deadly. And the offense for Gargano fires back with a lariat. And now an Irish left. Then a kick. A heel kick by Gargano. Wise move. Tags in Ciampa. Ciampa feels fired up here. Knock him down with a right. Ground and pound. Here comes the psycho, the psycho killer. Chop off, elbow at the top, and Smart goes into the cover away from the rope. Not enough to retain, though. I love that detail by Chopper, able to turn around into the right, in, right away from the ropes, allowing not allowing uh, Kit Wilson to reach with his right leg, perhaps. But still able to kick out, and now. Pretty deadly, still have a chance. Ooh. Warm in the face. Chop on the knee. That running knee right into the face. The crowd said, not the face. Well, the face is gonna get planted with a fairy tale ending. Is it enough? Who gonna lag? Retain the tag team titles. Wow. Hell of a matchup, a hell of a title defense for DIY here tonight, but the action does not stop. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the Zoe start making her way as she takes on Mia Yim next. Two rings, one steel cage. <laughs> Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs. SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs. Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. As we're back live here on SmackDown, getting ready for some women's action, especially with the now new women's television title in the fray for the women's division. No doubt more competition, more action will take place here on SmackDown. Mia Yim going one-on-one -on -one with Zoe Stark. Two former champions in their own right. Mia Yim, a former NXT Women's Champion, forces a former WWE Women's Champion, and Zoe Stark. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! Zoe Stark, a part of this matchup here tonight. Would love to use tonight as a way to rebound, as a way to maybe get back into the title hunt. She had a shot against Becky Lynch. Couple episodes, ago, uh, couple episodes ago on SmackDown, but came up short. And now with the women's television title in the picture, maybe Zoe Stark looking to uh, maybe become a contender for that championship. We'll love to add that title to her list of accolades. 
already had the WWE Women's title in her uh, list of accolades so far as his matchup begins. Bellas run. Diddy T by Meech it off the bat. My God. Oof. And now, Zoe Stark just sending Meech into the corner. Flying four. Again, each match. Each match when it comes to championships, it's crucial. Springboard moonsault onto the spine of Stark. Goes for the cover there by Yim. Is it enough? And a kick at one. And both women are looking to become champions one day. Especially Minch Meechin has been fighting for it for the last year. Would love to get her opportunity eventually. And now look at this. Bow and arrow submission. Bow and arrow submission applied, but Zoe Stark able to get out the hole quickly. And Big Lyria takes her down. As Meechin on the outside. Able to wait for Zoe Stark to get outside. Caught her from behind. Big form in the face there by Stark. Or Elbow, I should say. And now. Oh! Off the apron and a nasty kick to the face. Good grief. That was like a whiplash effect. By uh, for me AM there. So that capacity crowd here tonight. Nearly 13,500 plus in the arena. I was on the road to Survivor Series in Vancouver, BC. In the Rogers Arena. Two War Games matches will take place. Zoe Stark sliding knee onto Meechin. Is it enough for the win? No! Oh, barely a two. As Meechin now trying to gather herself in the corner, but Zoe Stark right there for the picking. Big kick to the gun, and oh, Zoe. Able to catch her. Abdominal stretch. Got her with the abdominal stretch, but me Chen able to counter. And then a head scissors, a jab, then a kick. A series of kicks there by Chen, but no. Wait. Counter for counter. Me Chen got her up. And a nasty right knocked her down. Zoe starts in a bad way right now. Oh! Dropping a knee onto the face as well. Meechin in control. Referee Chad Patton making the count. There's both women on the outside. That's a big X kick there by Meechin. But Zoe got to her feet real quick. Oh, but. Michin got it with that kick to the knee. Protect your neck. It's like that knee, that knee slash neck breaker maneuver. And now, oh, so we start fighting back with a big form as well. Count of seven. And now Miriam trying to send her back in the ring as she does. The gig springboard! Got him with a bulldog! Gotta be careful. And they move at this point, at this, this point in the match is very crucial. As Yim with a kick to the spine. And now the. And now the head batty in charge. Look at her. Oh! Put some soul food in it. Cover. Hook of the leg. No! Oh! Soul up at two. Wow. Not enough. But Mi Chen is unfazed. What's she going to do now? Continue to strike. Continue to be on the attack. It's a spark for Mi Chen right now. On the Zoe Stark. Oh. 
Springboard! Cross body! Splash onto Zoe! On a prone Zoe! Able to catch it again! In the corner, trying to gather herself to start, but. Ah, like a shark, me and me, me, me and him is right there! She's right there to, for the picking! And now it's time for you to protect your neck, my lord. And now she's so gonna go for the piece of the resistance. Oh! So food! Hook of the leg! What a match! Mi Chen walks away with the win. Had Batty in charge, Mia Yim was able to walk away with the dub here tonight after a great matchup between Zoe Stark and Mia Chin here tonight on SmackDown. But let's think back to SmackDown last week where Becky Lynch was addressing the audience. Triple H just announced that I will meet the Raw Women's World Champion, Bayley. She was addressing Bayley and Triple H's announcement which led to the Women's World Champion making a shocking appearance on SmackDown last week. When Triple H was making this announcement that the champions will face each other, I had to fly over to New Jersey to look you in the eye and let it be known that I am the far better champion. You just beat Shayna, good for you. I, on the other hand, have been taking over the Raw Women's Division with my girls' damage control. We're unstoppable. And now you think you can bring that same level of confidence to SmackDown to prove that you're better than me? Listen, you dope, I'm not fighting all of damage control. I'm not fighting Io, Kyrie, Dakota, or even Asuka. I'm fighting you, Bailey. I've beaten you before, and you've beaten me in the past. And on SmackDown, right before the brands go to war, the man will cut the head of the snake known as damage control by humbling you in front of the world. Problem beating you on your own turf, and in fact. And then things took a turn when Bailey strike. Apparently Becky Lynch has struck a nerve, so Bailey decided to strike on the Becky Lynch, but Becky made her pay, threw her over the top to the outside, having the last laugh, if you will, of that entire situation. Again, these two will meet on SmackDown. It is official. Women's World Champion versus WWE Women's Champion. Raw versus SmackDown will take place on the next episode of SmackDown. On the SmackDown Before Survivor Series, Becky Lynch will meet Bayley once again, this time before Survivor Series. Brand Warfare comes early. Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada for WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena where Raw vs SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. Is they're back live here on SmackDown. As we're getting ready for some more women's action taking place here tonight. As there comes Little Miss Alexa Bliss. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, Mark Rollins here for a second. Oh! Candice Lord from behind. Two things turn me into loop for a second. Mike Rome is here. I didn't know that. But also, Candice the right taking it towards Alexa Bliss. I mean, Candice the right out for revenge. After what happened to. Oh! After when uh, the way lost to Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross via, via count out. 
felt that they deserved the opportunity to fight for the opportunity for the tag team titles at Night of Champions. And especially that Bloodstein Cross have lost the match. Now I'm sure Candice Ray feels that the opportunity was wasted. Brain buster under the floor. Again, this match has not even started yet. But Alexa Bliss taking it towards Candice LeRae. Ooh. Strikes after strikes after strike. I wonder if they're gonna ever gonna get in the ring and oh wait, Bliss. They would have sent Candice LeRae in the ring and the bell's rung and there we go. Despite the uh the jump from the beginning of the entrance wave by Candice Ray onto Alexa Bliss. Bliss able to turn things around. Got her down. Is it enough to count? Still can't believe Mike Rome is here. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why he's here. Maybe that referee John Cone shouldn't be here either. But either way, Alexa Bliss. Driving the knee right into the chest of Candice LeRae. And Alexa just mocking Candice. Two former champions going at it. Candice LeRae back in 2K20. Former SmackDown Women's Champion. Alexa Bliss, same thing. Back in Season 7 of Universe Mode. Going into Season 8. And now Alexa Bliss. Oh my God! To slander. Throw first on the floor. And then doing more damage. That's the right. Planted her face first, and then a double foot stomp. Again, Candice Array very petty for uh, what she did at the beginning of this whole situ situation, or this whole match, I should say. Jumping her at the start. All because she feels that Blissing Cross wasted their opportunity. Because that they should have, that the way should have their opportunity at the tag team titles, but no. Oh, things didn't work out that way for the way. Covered there by Lorraine, and that's not enough at two. Felt like Dr. Zeus there for a second. Oh my. And now Lorraine, big kick. Sends Bush to the outside. What's he thinking? Hurricane run up to a Santa Holy. And Bliss got right up to her feet and then planted with a bulldog by Lorraine. Is Candace Ray now mocking Bliss? Is Candace Ray on the attack? Look at a twist of the Ray may have been struggling in the tag team division, but no doubt she has accomplished as a single star in the Lewis Mark. As the ring gets back in the ring, Bliss now. Got her. Plunge her down. Oof. Oof. Tip up there by LeRae. Able to send her off the ropes. Head scissor. Oh, oh TDT instead. Tilt the world to, into a DDT. I thought she was going to go for a head scissors for a moment, but she caught him to a DDT instead. But Bliss got him now. Oh, side rush to leg sweep. <laughs> Kick to the midsection. Oh, Bliss DT. Down goes Lorraine. Isn't enough. Hook of the leg. Bliss gets the win. Vindication for Alexa here tonight. Here is your winner. Alexa Bliss with the DDT for the win. Very competitive match between uh, Candice LeRae and Alexa Bliss. And all the way to start for Candice LeRae to attack her from behind. But in the end, Bliss stands tall. But let's take it back to SmackDown last week. 
Now, I may be the champion, but that's not stopping either a new challenger stepping forward to face me, or it's Finn Balor or Damian Priest or any one of the men in the Judgment Day that wants to step up. I will be ready. Six times I've won that prize. And next week, you'll see an updated look to the Intercontinental Championship. Six-time Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens knows that there will be challengers making their way. And Karrion Cross was the first one to let it be known. So that's why tonight, the Intercontinental title will be on the line. The question is, will time be up for Kevin Owens' title reign? As he just won it at of Champions. We'll find out right now. He's scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE. Tonight's a lot of it's all about the action. We got the announcement regarding war games for the men and women. It will be The Rock, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, and Kevin Owens for the men. And for the women, it will be it will be Beth Phoenix, Jade Cargill, Lyra Valkyria, and Becky Lynch. We saw DIY retain the tag team titles. We just saw Alexa Bliss get a win over LeRae. And now tonight, we got the Intercontinental title on the line. Gary and Cross making his way down the aisle along with Scarlett. His his wife, or mistress, whatever she wants to be called, she is effective. She is a tool that if Cross needs, he wins. A former World Heavyweight Champion in carrying Cross. This is the man who's going to add the Intercontinental Championship to his resume. Already has the Universal title under his belt, along with the World title, but now... Let's see how Cross will fare against a man who's been Intercontinental Champion six times over. Able to get rid of that sticking announce table as well. We're back to one. Thank you. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Intercontinental title being defended by the prize fighter. Adding some color to the Intercontinental title. Here comes Kevin Owens. A man who's accomplished a lot throughout his career in Universe Mode. If you don't know, if you're, this is the first time watching, I'm going to list off a, a lot of things that Owens has done over the years. When he debuted in 2K15, he defeated John Cena in the tables match at the TLC Premium Live event. Went on to win the Intercontinental title the first time in a fatal four-way match in 2K16. Then went on to win the Intercontinental title about six more times or five more times rather and that's how much he has today six time intercontinental champion won the royal rumble main event at wrestlemania three time wwe champion a tag team champion always has done it all well let's take it to alicia taylor introducing the challenger from sin city weighing in at 265 
his last reign ended in about a few weeks towards a month. His reign just started it's his first week. Or second week, I should say. The question is, will he be able to maintain and retain the Intercontinental Championship away from that man carrying cross? Here we go. And right at the gate, running knee by Cross. Taking Owens down right at the right at the blocks and now to stomp it on the left arm. It's a cross is looking to go for the kill. Right off the jump too. And got him here. Look at this. Exploder! With ease able to put him with an exploder and a double leg takedown. Cross is coming at him at all, firing at all cylinders. As Cross holds. Kevin Owens able to bite him some time that time. Able to send him into the corner. Shot to the face. And again. And again. Right when Owens tried to build momentum, Cross is able to turn things around to his favor. Now, in position. Oh! Had him up momentarily. Then the DDT as well. And now, Kevin Owens. Oh, what a splash! Owens with a series of offense trying to weaken Karrion Cross. Wrestling matches are not, not that easy. Some stars might have their opponent beat right out the gate, and some will have to break them down until they're able to weaken them enough to get at least a three count. There's both been on the outside. Owens is stomping in cross. Oh, double foot stuck to the yard. My God. Count of five as Owens able to send them in the. In the ring now. Despite having champion's advantage, Owens in control. Now up top, Hail Mary splash, but hell no! And a big boot there by Cross. And then look at Scarlet, that she devil, bringing in a kendo stick. I don't know what good that would do, but look at Cross, not just ground and pound. Ground and pound on the Kevin Owens. Oh. And now Cross, look at this. Deadlift going. Still got him hooked. Oh. They're going to roll up to the outside. Huh? And Scarlet, better be careful. Don't want to get Cross disqualified. Irish Swift, tell him off the ropes. Stuck under. And now big back body drop by Owens. Goes for the cover off the back drop. But Cross says otherwise at one. And now both champion and challenger on the outside. Aaron Cross is the first one to step up. He was looking good in the first half, but it seems the Intercontinental Champion, the longer this goes, it favors the champ. But Cross sends it back in the ring. And now it's Cross that seems fired up here. Kevin Owens, oh, cut him on the right. Knock that shot, able to chop him down with the edge of his hand. Like Jimmy Hendrix, and now up top, swan turn ball. And now Owen to gonna finish the job. Stunner! The swan turn ball. The stunner, the hook, the count, the three. Owen retains. The Intercontinental Championship. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens. Hell of a matchup between Cross and Owens. 
But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, first we're going to hear from Jay Cargo, but coming up next, CM Punk versus Finn Balor. Two rings, one steel cage. Live in Vancouver, BC, Canada, from WWE Survivor Series War Games in the Rogers Arena, where Raw vs. SmackDown will compete in Brand Warfare. Two War Games matches and a Champion vs. Champion matches will take place at Survivor Series Best 2 out of 3. Also, there will be two World Championship matches taking place at this year's Survivor Series. Listen up and listen good people. You all have seen what I'm capable of inside of a WWE ring. Because just like when I left the WWE, I stand here once again, a champion. The first ever WWE Women's Television Champion. Raquel was my first of many opponents that will fall at my feet. And especially since Beth Phoenix is putting the pressure on me to help bring the victory at Survivor Series War Games, Oh, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. And that Raw Women's Division ain't ready for me. Uh-oh. Jade Cargill, my oh my, aren't you a specimen? The first ever WWE Women's Television Champion. And since you stay ready, how about seeing me in a match for that TV championship? Challenge made by Charlotte towards the champion. Charlotte Flair, my oh my, aren't you a loser? Since you couldn't beat Rhea Ripley on the last episode, or that you couldn't survive the gauntlet match? Like me? Remember, I was the second entrant in that gauntlet match and I came out the winner. So that since you true. want me, prove how bad you want me and my championship. Face an opponent of my choosing next week and if you win, I'll grant you your opportunity at my TV title. Oh, what a proposal. Damn. It sounded like sex. And Charlotte faces whoever Jay picks, and she wins. Title opportunity down the line. Wow. Dude, we just saw a live negotiation there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the action. As we're having one out of two double main events here tonight. As here comes part one, CM Punk. Versus Finn Bauer. Lot of nation for the best in the world. It's clobbering time. The contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 218 pounds, CM Punk! CM Punk has been on a mission to not only go after the top, the top spot in all of WWE, not only to make SmackDown the top brand in all of WWE, but in the end of the day, CM Punk is after one major thing. That is to become the undisputed WWE Champion once again. The last time Punk held a world title was in 2K22 when he lost to the Carrying Cross at Money in the Bank. The last time Punk held the WWE Championship was all the way back in 2013 when he lost it to The Rock in Phoenix, Arizona at the Royal Rumble. And he's looking to get it back from Survivor Series. But he has a big task in hand. And the man who will be a part of War Games comes Survivor Series. A man who will be representing SmackDown. Here comes the Prince. Former Intercontinental Champion, 
Lost the title amount of champions to Kevin Owens, who we just saw defended against Karrion Cross successfully. But Finn Balor, not only a former Intercontinental Champion, but also a former United States Champion, two-time United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion with AJ Styles, longest reigning Universal Champion in history, 440 days. CM Punk kind of shares that same sentiment. 434 days as WWE Champion. Both men have accomplished a lot. Finn Balor, former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, a former IWGP United States Champion in this universe mode, might I add. Won that very championship in the last few seasons. My point is, this is a very big matchup. Two highly accomplished superstars going out of here tonight. Brain Buster. First move of the match. My lord. And the DDT as well. Finn Balor now just driving his foot right into the gut of Punk. Just being in control of the situation. As oh, Balor in an elbow. And again, just continues to drive the boot right to the abdomen of Punk in the early going. Snapmare takedown as Balor in control. Snapmare in a kick to the spine. And now Balor up top. They're going to finish the job. Oh, drive the knee from the top rope instead. That could be it. Punk looking to be out. Could it be? Two count. Show up at two. Remember, Finn Balor did defeat CM Punk. In a tag team match on SmackDown a few episodes ago, where Finn Balor connected with the missile drop kick in the corner, and, Bal and Punk's head buckled between the two turnbuckles. Oh wait! Buckle bombing in the corner! Spine first, spiked into the turnbuckle. As Balor now just taking it towards CM Punk until Punk there, but it turned it around there. Driving his knee right into the side of the leg of Balor. Going to take away one of Balor's secret weapons, if you will. Goes for the cover. Punk now. Had him in a lot of press, but Balor kicked at one. Irish Swift got him in the corner, but Punk gave it a counter with an elbow. And now Punk can go to sleep. Go to sleep! GTS! On the Bauer! Bauer's still awake! Able to get the shoulder up at two. Bauer is still awake. Hail Mary splash by Punk. Lateral press. Hook of the line. Could it be? No! Bauer able to pop the shoulder up at two at the very last moment. And now look at Punk. Oh no. Snap. Super into the corner. My lord. And now Punk at the arm, and oh, it's just stuffing out Balor. And now Punk in control. Of, what the? Wait a minute. I mean, he's scheduled later on, but not now. And, oh, no, don't no, just a distraction. Punk got distracted. Balor, 1916. 1916 by Balor. And Punk's still alive at two. That momentary distraction aided Balor, but Punk would stand it all and kick at two. And now Balor and Punk exchanging blows. Punk strike. Big one right block. Punk got it there. Got it that time. Balor swings. Oh, Punk got busted open. Nice counter by Punk. Both men just exchanging rights back and forth. And the crowd letting it be known who they're behind and who they're against. And both men trading balls. And then Bauer sets up over the top to the outside. But Punk right up to his feet. 
to the thick. What to do with the oh, face first off the apron. And a nasty kick for good measure. Now Punk. Punk feels that he has things well in hand. Punk feels that he's in control. But he's in the driver's seat. Ballard is on defense. Referee at a count of five now. And up Punk with the Punk and a cut of ice. Puss it open and up. And a cut of ice with Ballard with the, with the knee lifts. Ballard with the knees. Sends Punk back in the ring. What a competitive match. Despite the distraction. Wait a minute, Punk! Go to sleep! GTS on the Baller! Punk prevails! Wow! Here is your winner, Sam Adam Bobby Lassie tried it. Trying to get underneath Punk's skin. Trying to get in his head. But Punk able to maintain focus. Planning to go to sleep on the Finn Balor. Getting payback from that tag team loss and getting momentum. Heading towards the triple threat for the WWE title. Come Survivor Series War Games. My God. Could Punk be the champion? Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. You don't want to miss the next episode of SmackDown where Becky Lynch will meet Bayley in a War Games Advantage matchup. Grand Warfare comes early. Who will get the advantage for the teams come Survivor Series? Triple Threat Tag Team Elimination Table Match will take place in the Wayne Team will Challenge the Champions at Saturday Night's Men event for the Tag Team Titles. Who will take on Charlotte Flair? Who will be the choice of the Women's Television Champion Jake Cargill to face Charlotte Flair? Who will Charlotte have to beat in order to get a title shot down the line? And Bobby Lashley will go one on one with the American Nightmare, the WWE Champion. We heard from them earlier tonight at the beginning of the show. Let's see him go at it in our main event live right now. Here on SmackDown! As here comes the almighty! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds. The tall. Bobby Lashley, a man who's on a mission. Now looking to have the WWE Championship in his sight come Survivor Series, especially after getting a must needed victory in Bobby Lashley's eyes after he was wronged in the last match him and Punk had on SmackDown with his foot was underneath the bottom rope, but he had to submit nonetheless, allowing Punk to get the victory. Bobby Lashley got the win and now the champions in that no disqualification bout. And now tonight has a chance to knock off the undisputed WWE Champion right before Survivor Series. And they brought back the announce table. I don't know why. Maybe just in case, in case Bobby Lashley and Cody Rhodes might go at it to where they can use the other table for collateral damage. But here comes the undisputed WWE Champion. Still realizing the dream after winning in a night of champions, after a grueling bout. Damn near, it was like 38 minutes of carnage. But the American Nightmare, able to tell the tale. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, 
the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Despite being in his second title reign, Cody Rhodes is on top. He came back in 2K22. One of the biggest episodes of Raw in history. Where Rhodes appeared. Went out to defeat Randy Orton. Three straight times in a row. Then went on. To win the, um, the Universal Championship. From Brock Lesnar. And since then, Rhodes has been on the mountaintop. Even reigning as U.S. Champion, Rhodes was still one of the key figures of SmackDown. But Bobby Lashley, let me show why he's the difference maker. Just tossing Rhodes around like a rag doll. And now look at this. Got him in a, almost like a dominated submission. But... Rolls over to got the whole big pop track and now right to be delivered with a jump bring it there by Lashley. And now Lashley trying to go under it. Oh, but Rhodes caught him in the area. Both men trading blow for blow, back for like just just back to back shots. Kick for kick. Tip for tat. Now Cody Rhodes got Bobby Lashley on the outside. Referee was getting ready to uh, adhere to the 10 count, but right as Cody Rhodes sends Lashley back in the ring. Bobby Lashley, go! Oh! Both first off the top rope, looking to pin, looking to upset the end of the champ. Kick out at one by Rhodes. Now Bobby sends him over the top and oh, he's hanging on. He's hanging on. And, oh my God! Blast him! Having Rhodes hang on, like, hanging on by a thread, and then knocked him over. The Rhodes retaliates with a bulldog. Lastly, again. Oh, Dominator! Climb at the dominant. And Bobby Lash is no slots. A former WWE Universal Champion. Reigned for an entire year. And he lost the title to Kurt Angle at SummerSlam in my hometown of Toronto. Bobby Lash is taking vertical suplex. No! But Rhodes able to turn him around with a top block. That was when Bobby Lash is on the reign of a lifetime. Back in season seven of Universe Mode. That's when he made a better WrestleMania against Samoa Joe. Disaster kick by Cody Rhodes. A man who made a better WrestleMania this season, here in season 10. In WrestleMania, in Yankee Stadium. Just like that, Crossroads for the win on the lockdown. Kick it in two by live train. Just when you thought it was over, lastly, shows what he is, walking Armageddon. Sets him up the ropes, got a power slam by Rhodes. But again, it's hard to keep a man like Lashley down. As Rhodes is choking him with the top rope. Trying to go for an open palm strike, but Lashley, Sends him off the ropes. Caught up. Neck breaker. And the almighty. Might want to put the hurt lock on the Cody Rhodes. Could you imagine defeating Cody Rhodes via submission? Oh, we're going to go for it. Hurt lock. Hurt lock is locked in. Rhodes is in trouble. 
Rubes looking to. And Rubes gonna submit. He's fighting for his life and Lashley. I don't know if that's a wise move, but Lashley let go. Maybe he wants to inflict more punishment on the Rubes, but Rubes caught him with a power slam. Either Lashley's ego or slash arrogance might be the cost of him in this environment. He's got to be careful, especially up against the undisputed WWE Champion, who's already have a lot to deal with, facing not only Lashley, but in Punk himself at Survivor Series in a triple threat. The last time the WWE title was in a triple threat match at Survivor Series. Wait a minute. Oh! Vertical suplex delayed by Lashley. But they can roll, try to set him up. But Lashley able to turn it around. I believe the last time the WWE Championship was on a triple threat match at Survivor Series was all the way back in 2K16. That was when Stone Cold Steve Austin returned fighting Sting and Dean Ambrose for the WWE Championship. And that was when Stone Cold walked away as WWE Champion. I am not making that up. You can look it up. I'm telling you. That's for real. Stone Cold Steve Austin came out of retirement in 2K16 to win the undisputed title at the time. Bobby Lashley with the elbows on the roads. Is it enough? Two. And a kick at two by Rhodes. This, hit, this universe mode goes deep with history. Rich with history. A lot have happened over the last 10 seasons. Lashley with the almighty spy buster. Isn't enough to pin the champion? No! Sort of return. Rhodes! Inside cradle! Got lost the deal! Ah. The crowd is on their feet for this one. It's very crucial. Something's gotta give. Rhodes is messing Lashley for a cross. Rhodes! He said Lashley would meet his crossroads here tonight. And Lashley prevents it. The crowd chatting one more time might do it. As Rhodes on the attack. A hell of a main event match. A double main event we had. First Punk and Balor. And now Lashley and Rhodes. Go on a cross by, by Lashley. But look at Cody. Oh! Face first off the apron. Oh, nasty kick. And Rhodes is fired up here. Count of five. What's the undisputed champion thinking? Oh! Elbow right to the sternum of Lashley. Then a closer view. Kick to the gut. Uh oh, downstairs. Cody Rhodes! Count of three on the Lashley! Count of eight! And then the Rhodes! Back in the ring, Lashley's down! Count of nine! And Rhodes wins! Rhodes wins it! Be a count out! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was going to say Cody Rhodes having to celebrate a win, a win to win, but Punk on the stage. Obviously, a bit bitter for what happened earlier tonight. And Lashley coming through. Punk and Lashley. Some of the differences here, right now, to end the show. See you next week on the road to Survivor Series. Wait, the remix gone.